the course of a cybersecurity degree program, I don't think it's necessary to go deep into the OSI model. And actually, I'm glad you kind of mentioned a, a pet peeve of mine, the OSI model. So, <laughs> so the OSI model is an, a, a good example of where I see, so I agree with everything you just said, but it's also a good example of where I see sort of the opposite. In the course of a cybersecurity degree program, I don't think it's necessary to go deep into the OSI model. And the reason I say that is because it's kind of used the wrong way. The OSI model was not, it was not fundamentally meant to be for you to have a clear linear understanding of how from connection to pulling a web page down, how I'm getting that done across layers. Um, and so the thing that I think people forget is that really the OSI model was not meant to, to be relevant for understanding how systems communicate over the digital plumbing. It was meant to guide interoperability so that you could buy a, an IBM PC and connect it to a network that was also supporting, you know, clone machines and non IBM gear and that the network cards were all going to interoperate. And the communication standards were the same. The cabling standards were the same. And it's a good example of where I think they turn people off. So a lot of the cybersecurity students, I'll tell them, you know, Hey, like, I don't need you to be a network engineer. 